Hi, I'm Paul Kilgan from GK Tuition, and in this video I want to talk to you about algebra. Now the question that I've chosen to go through here is 2018 paper 1 question 6. In this question we're given the following line and we're asked to solve for x. So you have a number of complications here. The first problem is that you have x plus 5 times 3x minus 4. So in order to multiply with double brackets, it's the first thing in the first bracket by the second bracket, then the second thing in the first bracket by the second bracket. I've multiplied minus 3 by x squared gives me minus 3x squared, minus 3 by plus 2 gives me minus 6. And I just take down the plus 4. Now on the third line here, I've multiplied out my brackets. x by 3x is 3x squared, x by minus 4 is minus 4x. 5 by 3x is 15x, plus 5 by minus 4 is minus 20. And I've just listed those three terms. On this line, I've just grouped my x squareds together, my x's together, and my numbers together. The x squareds, I have plus 3 minus 3, they cancel each other out. I have minus 4x plus 15x, which is plus 11x. I have minus 20 minus 6 plus 4, which is minus 22. Now I've got 11x minus 22 equals 0. So add 22 to both sides, and I get 11x equals 22. Divide both sides by 11, and I end up with x is equal to 2. So the full marks there are just going for your x equals 2. Okay, in the next part of this question, I'm given the following three fractions, and I'm asked to find the solutions. Notice it says solutions, so it's plural, so you definitely need more than one answer here. There's a number of different ways of doing this, so the way that I've chosen to do it, I think it's the easiest way of doing it, is to get a common denominator on the left-hand side. If you're adding or subtracting fractions, you have to get a common denominator. The common denominator for 5 over x plus 3 minus 1 over x is x plus 3 times x. The common denominator, you just literally multiply all the, all the, all the denominators by each other. So you get x plus 3 by x. Now, in order to work out what goes on top, you have to be careful. Right, so to deal with this fraction, first you're going to put down a 5. Then you're going to ask yourself, how many times does x plus 3 divide into the common denominator? x plus 3 into the common denominator, well, x plus 3 would cancel with itself, and you'd just be left with x, which means that it's x multiplied by whatever is above the x plus 3, which is a 5. Okay, I'll put that back in now. Um, now I have to worry about the second term. So I take down a minus, there's a minus 1 there, so I take down my minus 1. And I have to ask myself, how many times does x divide into the common denominator? x divides into the common denominator, well it cancels with itself, and then I'm left with x plus 3. Which means it's minus 1 times x plus 3. And that's, so that's getting your common denominator. I'm leaving the right hand side as it is for the moment. Now on the top I can just multiply it. 5 by x is 5x, minus 1 by x is minus x, minus 1 by 3 is minus 3. x by x is x squared, and x by 3 is 3x. On the top then I can group, I've got 5x minus x gives me 4x, and then I've got a minus 3. Um, and once I've gotten to this stage, I can't simplify any further. So you might try and finish this one off yourself before you watch the end of the video. The easiest way to get rid of my fractions here is to cross, multiply, and try and solve. So I want you to try and finish it off and I'll take it from the top. Okay, so if I continue this one on, we left it off at this fraction here. In order, if you have two fractions and an equals in between them, the easiest thing to do is to just cross multiply. You multiply the bottom on the right by the top on the left. So I get 2 by 4x minus 3. And that'll be equal to the top on the right by the bottom on the left, which is 1 times x squared plus 3x. If I multiply that out, 2 by 4x is 8x. 2 by minus 3 is minus 6. 1 by x squared is x squared. 1 by 3x is 3x. Now, you should realize that on this line, you have an x squared, you have x's, and you have numbers, which means you must have a quadratic equation. If you have a quadratic equation, you should bring everything to one side so you can factorize it. So I brought the, the, the plus 8x comes across, becomes minus 8x. The minus 6 comes across, becomes plus 6. And if I then group the two like terms, 3x minus 8x is minus 5x. So I get to this stage where I have x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals 0. And now I've just got a normal quadratic, I can factorize it. The factors of x squared are just x and x. And now I need the factors of 6 that will add up to 5. The factors of 6 that add up to 5 are 3 and 2. 3 multiplied by 2 gives me 6. And if I added them together, I'd get 5. But I want them to add up to minus 5. So that means I want them, they're both going to be minuses. Now let's just verify our answers here. 
x multiplied by x is x squared. Minus 3 by minus 2 is plus 6. And if I group the two in middle ones, I get minus 3x. If I group the two outside ones, I get minus 2x. Minus 3x minus 2x adds up to minus 5x. Happy days. Oh, that's my middle term. That's what I'm looking for. So that's just how you can verify to make sure you're correct. But the question said to solve this one. So I don't want the factors. If it said factorize, that would be my answer. But if it says solve or find the solutions, that means I need to find the value of x. So now I need to let each factor equal to 0. I can say that x minus 3 equals 0 and x minus 2 equals 0. So to get x on its own, I add 3 to both sides and I get x is equal to 3. That's my first solution. And on the other hand, if I have x minus 2 equals 0, I add 2 and I get x equals plus 2. So that's my second solution. And then just always get into the habit of double checking. They told you that x can't be equal to minus 3 and that x can't be equal to 0. It's not a problem. Neither of these, neither of these are minus 3 or 0. So they must be my two answers. So I hope that video makes sense. If there's anything you're unsure of there or you want me to clarify it, send me an email or ask me in class and I'll try and explain it a little bit differently.